But the Word of God cuts through all this, the, 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 the deception that is found in the world. Here's another little ad that I thought, a little cartoon that I thought was interesting. Here's the uh, cancer institution running across the beach saying, the sun will kill you, avoid skin cancer, use more sunscreen. And then of course over here to the right, the sunscreen manufacturers are out on the beach selling all this sunscreen. And of course the, the cancer institution is saying, keep up the good work, buddy, selling the sunscreen. Of course, you know that, that, that they figured out that it is actually, it's not the sun, it's actually the sunscreen that is causing the cancer that you're rubbing all over your body. Uh, does the Bible speak to this issue? Genesis 1 and verse 16, and God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. Yeah, God says that sun up in the sky is very good. Now, have you, there's a D3, vitamin D3, critical because most people are not getting enough sunlight. They are, they're in their office, they're in their cars all day long. There's something called the feminization of man. It, it is a fact that men's, their testosterone levels is getting lower and lower and lower and lower. And one of the reasons is not enough sunlight, not enough vitamin D3. They're just not getting enough sunlight. And that's one of the cause, causes of lowering the lowering of testosterone in men. Of course, there's multiple reasons for that, but that's just one. But, you know, again, we have, all right, here's another picture. My daddy told me the truth. Santa Claus is a lie. Ask your parents about Santa and for the truth. Does the Bible speak to this kind of nonsense? Well, sure it does. Mark 7 and verse 9, and he said to them, Full well you reject the commandments of God that you may keep your own traditions. Yeah, again, we live in a world filled with deception. So if you are deceived, it's not completely your fault. But the word of God cuts through all the deception that you find in the world. Climate change, here's another one, climate change. I have heard that millennials, their greatest concern is global warming and climate change. Listen, it's a cash cow for special interest groups. There's no science behind it that is global warming. And in fact, they had to change it from global warming because there is no science behind it. They had to change it to uh, climate change. Uh, I mean, it's a fact. Did you know back in the 60s, Time Magazine had an article called The Coming Ice Age? But you see, back then they hadn't figured out any way to make money off of it. Today, they have figured, there are people getting wealthy off of trying to figure out climate change, global warming, and there is no such thing. And yet they're receiving an, a, 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 an income. It's a cash cow for special interest groups. There's no science behind it. The sun spikes in temperatures, the temperatures go up, the temperatures go down. It's been happening for 6,000 years. And yeah, it affects the weather, weather pattern, Patterns, I understand that, but there's no science behind it. Therefore, that is global warming. Therefore, they changed it to climate change, and anything can be climate change. All right, does the Bible speak to this issue? Yes. God says, neither will I smite again anymore any living thing as I have done. This is right after the flood. Genesis 8 and verse 22. While the earth remains seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease.